Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Alexandra Odegian. I'm a film worker based in Lagos, Nigeria. So basically today I will do something unusual. I will do something I've never done before on this channel. Now basically I'll be reviewing a movie today, um, Coming to America, the second sequel. Now this movie basically, the reason why I'm actually reviewing this movie was because of the hype. And I wanted to let you guys know my own view how I feel about this movie. Coming to America 2 is a comedy film that was first released in 1988 and a sequel to that was released on the 4th of March 2021. This movie is over 30 years of age and over 90% of the actors in this movie were the same cast that were used in the 1988 sequel. The movie really had really interesting personalities with people like, you know, funny people like Trevor Noah, Eddie Murphy, Michael Blackstone, you know, Rick Ross, Wesley Snipes, who happens to be the military dictator of the neighboring country, Nigeria. Jeremy Fowler, who played the role of L. Johnson, the bastard son of Prince Akeem. Mary, who happens to be the mother that actually gave birth to the only son of Prince Akeem. Princess Tinashe, Princess Mika, and Princess Uma. Those are the three daughters of Prince Akeem. Lisa McDowell, who happens to be the wife of Prince Akeem. You know, the movie was, you know, it had a lot of funny people, you know, really interesting people. I kind of like the choreography whenever General Easy was coming in. But I love the cinematography, I love the costume. They actually got some of the Africa attire. Just, you know, I didn't really see too many Agbada, you know, but I saw some nice African outfits. I love the, um, I think the second um, attire. Um, Johnson War. I just love the movie, you know, it featured a lot of people, it's an amazing movie. I love the fact that they featured a couple of our Nigerian artists, um, the video. The movie basically was talking about Prince Hakim, who was about to ascend the throne as the king of the Zamuza. But he had no son, and by the tradition, a female can never be a king, so there has to be a male. But the father, Prince Hakim, only had three daughters. King Jofa was actually worried for Prince Hakim. If there is no crown prince to take over as the next king after Prince Akim, there is a higher chance that a dictator, a military dictator from a nearby nation, Nexdoria, will be coming with a violent act to dethrone Prince Akim. Now, my own opinion about the movie. So when Prince Akim was to go look for his son, it was pretty too easy for him to just get to New York, met some old people and some old guys in the barber shop and he just explained to them and he explained where he will find his son. To me, I think it was just too easy. It made me feel like New York is one kind of village that you could you can just walk down the street and you find whoever you want to see. His introduction to the song was just direct. There was no, you know, it's been 30 years, you know, you haven't seen your son, you know, and you just went straight to him. First time you're meeting him, you went straight to him and you introduced yourself and you want to pick him up, take him back. It's, it's very funny. But there were some behaviors I was expecting from L. Johnson, who happens to be the bastard son of Prince Akeem. You know, he grew up in the street, based on the storyline. He grew up in the street. He was trained by his uncle, Uncle Rim. The only time he actually took a unique act was when he stood up for himself at an interview. The, the white man was kind of questioning him. He was being a racist. You know, and he stood up for himself and walked out of the interview. When Lisa found out, Akim actually brought a bastard back to Zamudia. You know, you know, normally an African woman would definitely give the husband more problems, even if she, he had a child before them getting married. She would still be angry because it's like a rivalry to her own children. She accepted too easily, you know. Probably that's the old scenario. They just want to focus the movie more on the on Prince Akim and the throne. I won't say the movie is a bad movie, but this movie was said to be a comedy movie. And most of the people I've met have actually asked them what they feel about the movie. The only thing they were telling me was that the movie is just there. The jokes are not all that funny enough for people to laugh, but it, it was it was an interesting movie all in all. And it's still, you know, something that you can sit down for the one and ten minutes and although you might not find it funny, but it's an interesting one. The eldest daughter of Prince Akim, who was who had been training all her life to become the next king, 
But due to the tradition, she definitely she can become the, the king of Zamundia. So she was really pissed, like somebody from uh, a bastard from the queens came over to our kingdom to take over a role I've been training all my life to become. And she was really pissed, she was angry, and she gave El Johnson a lot of attitude. There was no um, plot against um, El Johnson. You know, after two or three scenes, they became friends. Aimani, who happens to be the daughter of General Easy, because General Easy was trying to force, since he could not force his son on um, Prince Hakim's first daughter, so he intended to force his daughter on the bastard son of Prince Hakim. You know, when I saw the character, you know, I was really happy because the movie kind of showed the fact that African women are not being given enough room to lead. So there was a part where General Easy's daughter was being asked by uh, Johnson that what are your goals in life? She had no goal. All she was saying was anything you say is your goal is what I choose to be my goal. And Johnson wasn't liking the fact that she had no future ambition. She was just there to be a statue. So it's an amazing movie. I feel like you should go check it out and let me know what you feel about this movie review. Comment in the comment section below. Thank you for watching me today and I appreciate you guys. Thank you. See you guys later. Bye.